good morning everybody and um welcome to my channel i want to start out by thanking sandy over at let's get fit with sandy for inviting me to uh, be part of this collab along with some other really fantastic uh weight loss youtubers so i'm really honored to be part of this collab let me tell you a little bit about myself if you are new to my channel uh, first of all, my name is Sue, and my channel is Sue Slims Down. I started Weight Watchers in earnest back on um, January 1st, 2016. And um, I was sort of up and down back then, went through some life changes in 2017 and 18, where um, I lost my husband to cancer, and I lost my son to suicide uh, in April of 2018. Uh, and then I lost my house, my car, and everything basically that I owned. And I had to move cross country to live with my daughter uh, in Idaho. And I currently live in Ohio. And that's where I'm from, Ohio. So uh, while I was living with my daughter, in Idaho, something just clicked and I started losing weight back in 2018. Um, I started losing weight, it was about fall by the time it started really clicking, started losing weight consistently. So I had lost, my highest weight loss was 93.5 pounds. And uh, then the pandemic hit and I started gaining weight for no reason. The pandemic didn't really affect me personally. Um, uh, I had been retired. I live alone. So there was really no reason for me to be really affected food wise with the pandemic. Although I will tell you one thing that changed with me during the pandemic is I started ordering food out again. Um, I wasn't going to restaurants because they were all closed, but DoorDash became a real good friend of mine and for no, no good reason. But I so I have gained weight, and I've gained over thirty pounds again. So I'm kind of starting back from scratch. So when I answer these questions, I'm going to talk to you as if I am at that ninety-three point five pound mark because I want you to know what worked for me and what I'm trying to get back to. It's tough when you have had a great weight loss and then you start gaining weight back, and um, it's harder this time around for me to wrap my head around it. Although, you know, I'm still, I am still focused on the prize of getting down to my weight goal. So this is called Fall Back with Smart Choices. Uh, and the weekend that this is going up, it happens to be my birthday weekend. Actually, this, it's going up on Saturday the 9th and my birthday is Monday the 11th. So I, I know that there's probably gonna be some bad choices that I'm gonna make on my birthday. <laughs> But I will tell you one good choice that I'm going to make on my birthday. Uh, but I'm going to tell you that in another video. So the first question here is, uh, how do you schedule your habits into your daily life? Uh, for instance, do you uh, keep a calendar? Do you tie it into your current behavior? Well, my habits are at my age, they're just kind of programmed into me. Um, however, I have to journal everything, whether it's in my computer or on, uh, you know, something like this. I, I have to journal it so that I can actually have a visual. Um, I put things in my phone, but you know, that phone calendar, you got to click the app to get it up and everything. So, um, mostly I just journal on, with paper and pencil on a calendar. Uh, you know, I'm a retired teacher, so I'm used to writing things down in the calendar and documenting things. So uh, that's what I do it. Now, my menu planning, I do normally the night before my weigh-in, which right now is Friday night. Um, so I weigh in on Saturday mornings. And uh, so on Friday night, I usually menu plan for the entire week up until the next uh, weigh-in day. Okay, so number two, how do you stick to your schedule? 
Um, and the example she gave is, you know, gym with friends, walk by yourself. I don't go to the gym. I have a gym membership that actually I was just discussing with my son that I was going to cancel because I'm not using it. If I were using it, if I was a gym rat and I was getting there and using it, I would keep it. But I do not enjoy going to the gym. I never have. And I have given it many, many tries. I just, I feel very self-conscious about going. And um, is I don't do well at a gym. So, matter of fact, for my birthday, I asked my son to get me a kettlebell set so I could do exercise here at home. But, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I do like to walk. And, you know, because I'm a widow and uh, I live by myself, I do everything alone. So I walk, there are a couple of really nice parks around here that I go to, to walk. Uh, and my favorite time to walk is um, usually about five o'clock in the afternoon. And the reason I like to go at that time is because the parks aren't crowded. People are just getting home from work and they're, uh, you know, having their dinners and stuff. So a lot of times I have the places mostly to myself, but I walk and I am going to start walking for time, which means uh, a faster walk. So, and I'm going to try to increase my time limit on that, uh, to burn more calories as you walk. So anyway, that's what I do. And then number three is how do you focus on what you want to accomplish? And her examples were, uh, do you journal it? Do you schedule it? Do it at the same time every day or have a partnership with someone? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I just recently started partnering up with Sparkly Susan, who also lives in Ohio and another part of Ohio, uh, and we've been uh, texting our meals back and forth, uh, trying to be accountable with one another, uh, what we're eating every day. And she's invited me to be part of her Fitbit, Fitbit challenges. I don't do those uh, often. Uh, I did it more often when I was working full time. But now I'm substitute teaching, so my schedule is kind of out of whack. But uh, anyway, so I do have, I, I do buddy up with, with uh, Susan. And, uh, but I still also journal it. Like I said, I journal everything. And uh, the, the way I've had the best, best success on Weight Watchers is to track every single gram that I put into my mouth. I weigh everything in grams and I track it. So that is, that has what has what has given me the best success on the program. All right, now here's this one, <laughs> this question. I know I have to think about this one. How do you stop making excuses for yourself when you slip up? Well, you know we all slip up. No one is perfect unless your name is Corey Yeager, and he's pretty perfect. Uh, well. If you haven't watched his journey, go over to Weight Watchers with Carrie's channel and uh, go back and watch her husband, Corey's journey. I mean, he had just, I think, a whole year of consistent losses. So anyway, how, how do you stop making excuses for yourself when you slip up? That's a hard one. A lot of times I just have to sit down and talk to myself uh, and say, listen. This is ridiculous. And I've done that often, especially lately. I've done often that this is just ridiculous what you've done. You let all these old habits slip back in and uh, there really is no good excuse for it. I weigh myself every day, so I'm well aware of what I'm doing. Uh, and the best way to stop making excuses is just to say enough is enough and have a good talk with yourself. For me anyway. So, okay, number five, are you doing it by yourself or with a partner? Well, I do it by myself because I have to do everything by myself. However, uh, like I said, I've been texting back and forth with Sparkly Susan now for, um, I think this is a week going on now that we've been doing this being each other's accountability partners. And I text Sandy over at Let's, Let's Get Fit with Sandy. Uh, and we talk back and forth about, you know, our, you know, how we can be better at the program 
and try to encourage one another. And same with Carrie. I'll text her every now and again and say, Liz, I'm having a hard time. And right now I'm having a hard time. So it also helps that I'm doing videos on YouTube uh, and your comments actually help me be better at the program. So, and if you have noticed this last week, I haven't been on YouTube much, uh, par partially because my schedule has changed. I'm, I've been spending a lot of time in the classroom again and uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> So anyway, that's how I hold myself accountable. I text others, other YouTubers that I'm friends with, um, or, you know, just people in my own friend circle. All right. So number six, just because it doesn't follow your plan, how do you make it work? For example, everyone goes out to lunch on Fridays or, you know, I don't have the writing recipe ingredients. Well, I usually always have the right recipe ingredients. I'm a home canner and I I preserve most of the food that I that I eat. And um I basically eat the same things anyway. So, I always have ground turkey in my freezer. I always have chicken breast in my freezer. I usually have, you know, a cut of red meat in my freezer. So, I always have the right protein ingredients. I always have eggs. <laughs> um, and as far as veggies, I can my veg vegetables all the time. So I always have corn and potatoes and green beans and stuff like that. So I, I don't have that excuse. I always have the right stuff. Um, my excuse is been lately, I'm too tired. So I'm just going to go out and eat. And it's not a valid excuse you know uh last on friday nights my son and i go out to dinner normally every friday night uh typically we go to a mexican restaurant so and i weigh in on saturday morning so my weigh-ins have been rough because i eat out uh if it doesn't follow my plan well what i need to do if i know i have a meal coming up and i always did this in the past when I was being successful, if I knew I had a special occasion coming up, I would adjust my points earlier in the day. For instance, if I knew I had a high point breakfast or high point dinner coming up, then I would have a zero point or very low point breakfast or lunch and adjust the points. Now, I weigh my all my food. I weigh it by grams, except for when I go out, then I don't weigh it. And, uh, when I was really losing weight consistently, guess what? I took my scale to every restaurant I went to and I weighed it. And I wasn't self-conscious about it at all. I knew I was doing it because I needed to do something like that. Um, now, that's just me. I don't see a lot of people pulling scales out at, at, at restaurants. And if I happened to not have my scale with me, I would always ask the server to ask the chef or whoever was making it how much a certain ingredient was weighed and I always asked it to be prepared without fat. Um, and I stopped doing that for some reason. So I need to get back to that. Um, that's how I would make things like that work. Now, my birthday, like I said, is on Monday. Uh, I'm planning on having a nice meal on Monday. Uh, I haven't right quick. I haven't really planned Monday out yet. But if one of my kids brings me a cake. I'm going to eat cake. So somebody once said birthday points don't count. They don't count until you get on the scale at the end of the week. Anyway, I don't know if I really answered that question. But that's how I would make it, I guess, that's how I would make it work into the plan. That if I knew I had something coming up, like a birthday dinner, then on on Monday then on, I guess my course of action on Monday is going to be very low point or no point breakfast and lunch. All right, number seven, how do you design your everyday life for success? Well, I have not been good at that lately, but when I was being very successful, I would schedule every, because I'm, like I said, since being a teacher, I had to learn how to schedule everything. And that's what I did. I would schedule 
when I would have breakfast and when I would go for a walk, I would schedule what I was eating. I would schedule my, an after dinner walk uh, around the pond out in my backyard with my dog. And um, I keep, I would keep track of everything, everything that I ate and every activity. I have a Fitbit, so I would always keep track of my uh, exercise to make sure that I had a calorie deficit at the end of the day. Although, you know, I, I count points and I do watch my calories because I know at my age and my activity level that I don't need a lot of calories to survive, you know. But how I design my everyday life, I don't do anything really different. I'm just more mindful of what I'm eating and, um, and what I'm doing. Uh, for instance, if I have been sitting down on my couch here watching TV, which I don't really do, <laughs> um, unless there's a football game on, uh, I make sure that I'll get up during the commercials and, you know, walk and go do something quick. Um, or I'll go outside during halftime and walk around the pond with Molly a couple times. But uh, so that's really how I design it. Now, lately, since I've been substitute teaching so often, I am uh, at school, you know, at 7.15 in the morning. Now, during the times that I have a planning period at school, I am not sitting. I am getting up and I'm walking around the classroom. You know, if I, I, I prepare things for the class coming in, but I will uh, walk up and down the aisles of the classroom just to get steps in, or I'm working in a very large school right now. So during that planning period, I will get up and walk around the building. So um, I guess that's what I'm doing. Uh, now in parentheses on this question, Sandy put partnership recipes or videos. I do YouTube videos um, and the more consistent I am with doing YouTube videos, the better I'm doing a program. So. Um, I need to get back to that. I've been really lax in my YouTube videos lately. Um, and it shows, it shows on my scale. So, uh, that is my biggest level of accountability is when I'm showing you my food and showing you, um, you know, talking to you about my weigh-ins. So, uh, that's how I design my life for success is doing the videos. Number one. And then just journaling everything else that I do, keeping track of everything else that I do. And then the last question, I think, yeah, number eight, how do you make a habit important to you and not feel defeated when you mess up? That's a good question. <laughs> I had to really think about this and I'm still thinking about it because uh, right now I am feeling defeated. Um, I am disappointed in myself because I let myself gain weight again. And I am feeling defeated because I feel like I have left, let my viewers down, uh, my subscribers. I, you know, when I was losing weight really well, you guys were yay, 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 yay. And now I feel like I'm telling you the same thing was I had a bad day, you know, uh, so I don't know that I don't think I've got that question figured out yet, Sandy, because uh, I am feeling defeated now. I, I feel like I've let everybody down, myself included. So uh, my concentration after my birthday is over with is to get back to some of these things I told you about earlier is about weighing and measuring, which I, I do anyway, but being really, really diligent about it. And, um, I have a sugar addiction and I've let some of that sugar come back into my house that, uh, I need to get rid of and I need to get rid of it cold Turkey. Uh, it's not one of those things where I am going to wean myself off of it. I can't do that. It's like an, with me, sugar is like being an alcoholic. I can't even have one thing touch my lips. So, um, I guess that's what I have to do. I have to make myself important again and i've let that go um 
I don't know how else to explain that. But I do know that I have been in a season of being, feeling very, very defeated, feeling like I've let everybody down and not sure that I can do this again. Now, deep in my heart, I know that's not true. I know that I have lost all that weight before, and I know that I can do it again. Um, I guess diet fatigue has set in with me, if that's a tr even a term. Uh, because I've been at this since 2016. I should have been at goal two or three years ago. And I'm not there yet. <coughs> and it seems like every time... I get get going really well and something really is clicking. Weight Watchers changes their program. And they have another change coming up. So I don't know. Maybe it'll be a good change. I don't know. But anyway, those are my answers. to my, And I don't know that I answered any of them really well. But thanks again, Sandy, for inviting me to be part of this collab. And uh, please uh, watch the ladies and gentlemen that are involved in this. I hope to have them listed in the in uh, the description box below uh, if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> uh, I think there's a copy and paste I can do. But anyway, go back and watch all of them uh, because I'm sure we're going to get some really good ideas on how to inspire us to continue. So thanks again, Sandy. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.